Welcome to Higüey. Welcome to uh, the Basilica of Higüey, La Basilica de Nuestra Señora de la Alta Gracia. It's not only an, still an active church where people go and pray that are from around the area here in Higüey. Also a lot of pilgrims come here and that's so since 1540. You remember that uh, Christopher Columbus, even if he wasn't Spanish, he was uh, hired by the Spanish crown to find a way to India when he discovered Hispaniola. So everybody that came after him was of course Spanish, uh, Catholic, and there were in 1540, there were two brothers coming and they built a church here and they brought a painting from the Virgin Mary. And everybody that touched the painting would get better if they were sick, if they had other troubles, the troubles would go away or would at least be better. So even in this times, remember, no roads, no nothing. If you were lucky, you had maybe a horse or a muli, but they would pilger here to this church. Well, it was just a little tiny church and uh, pray here to the Virgin Maria. So they, they or their family would get better if it's health or financially. And that was really quite a long travel for some people. I mean, now I'm here in 30 minutes from Punta Cana, but I remember, and I'm only here 20 years, that it took me an hour. And now imagine coming from Puerto Plata. And this is from how far people came to pray here at this church. It's a very interesting history. When you come here to the Dominican Republic, if you're close to Higüey, like Punta Cana, Bávaro, uh, every countryside excursion will take you here. Then you will have a guide. If you decide to come here by yourself, you can come by bus or like me, by motorbike. And you will find a guide here. There are guides here around that can explain everything to you. There are only here at the church waiting for you to explain you the history so you can really dive into it. And Official guides here for the uh, Basilica de Higüey. Yeah. It can tell you everything. You speak English, right? I speak English. English. French. A little, bit, a little bit of German or Spanish if you like. It's between 15 and 20 dollars and then you have the full tour of the Basilica plus Maybe his... this is the new church. We have the another one, the old church. No. The old, the old church is in the center of the town. Yes. So that's what I told you earlier. As well, if you find the guide here, they will show you Higüe if you're lucky. Just make up a price. Seeing the cathedral here is between 15 and 20 dollars depending on what you want, talk to them, they speak English, and then enjoy your day. Okay, bye. <laughs> Higüey has uh, two highlights for me. One is obviously the Basilica and the second one is the market. 
I uh, love the local market and whenever I have visitors here, I take them to see the market. That's a must. So uh, let's go to the market. Here to the right behind this bus, there is another bus station by the way in Higue. And here, for example, the bus to La Romana leaves, but as well many more. And then if you look in front of us to the left, there is a bus coming and this bus is going to San Domingo. And the uh, bus stop for this bus is just where we passed by earlier, where is the bus stop just to the left. So when you come from Bavaro by bus, they will drop you off there. You just walk across the street and hop on this bus and come to San Domingo. Everybody is uh, crossing the red light except of uh, myself. I'm the only one waiting here and the ones that really don't find a gap. I would have uh, taken the other way along the park, but I know that uh, there's still construction going on. So I believe that's the best way to take today. So now all we have to do is find a place to park the motorbike. Let's see if we can park over here. If you're seeking an authentic and unforgettable experience, the Higoy market is a must visit destination. So you buy per libra here. You see every shop, if it's a vegetable, fruits, everybody has his own weight. And then you buy per libra. You can get everything over here. Super glue, mats, hot sauce, everything in one store. Over here you have cinnamon next to the rice and different kinds of beans. I found the little very soft and sweet guayabas, but he was selling them for 50 pesos uh, the libra. Since I only had 20, he was nice enough to pack me a smaller bag. Mm, delicious. The market here in Higüey has different sections. There is the fruit and vegetables, which we have seen and will continue seeing, but there's also a meat market. Meat market with um, freshly butchered meat. Sometimes you also can see the animal heads hanging there and it's a lot of blood and it's a lot of meat and I decided not to show it because it is intense. It's very graphic and I think you should make, you should know and then you should make the decision if you want to see it or not when you're coming to Higüey to visit the market. I have watched videos here on YouTube where I've been suddenly confronted with pictures that I didn't want to see and that's the reason I'm leaving it out. Anyway, let me know in the comment sections if you would have loved to see it or not. I'm deciding now on not showing it. That's it for today, guys. We are leaving Higüey. I really hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Check out the playlist. There are already a lot of videos about the Dominican Republic. If you want to come here for vacation or if you're coming here to live here, backpackers, everything. Check out the playlist and subscribe to the channel. And then I see you here again in the next video from Punta Cana. All you can see. La casa de la bachata